In this work, we propose a semi-supervised multitask learning method to expand the multitask setting for training the joint model across different datasets with partial task annotations. Multitask learning aims to enhance the model generalization by sharing representations between related tasks for better performance. Typical multitasking methods are jointly trained with the complete multitude of ground truths for all tasks simultaneously. However, one single dataset may not contain the annotations for each task of interest. We consider the setting where only disjoint datasets are at our disposal with partial ground truths, for example, dataset A developed for semantic segmentation and dataset B collected for depth estimation. It is in line with our intuition that a model can learn generalized representations from different datasets while ensuring at least one reliable supervision to train each task. To this end, one straightforward approach is to learn from one dataset for one task at a time, and alternatively train the joint multitask model. Nevertheless, leveraging only partial annotations from each dataset may produce bias in the shared encoder as it does not observe gradients from unlabeled data. As a result, the model may perform well on the labeled tasks while generalizing poorly on the unlabeled tasks in each dataset. To address the above mentioned issue, we propose to train the model on one domain by minimizing the supervised loss for the labeled task with annotated samples, as well as the semi-supervised loss for unlabeled tasks with identical samples that do not have corresponding annotations. To consider all the input domains, we iteratively apply the above training scheme over each dataset to fully leverage the supervisory signals for each task. With this formulation, our model is able to optimize all the task-specific parameters simultaneously with supervisions either from the supervised loss or the semi-supervised one on unlabeled data. Therefore, the shared parameters can also update with gradients accumulated from the supervision of all tasks on both labeled and unlabeled data, which avoids bias only on labeled data. We formulate the semi-multitask learning problem in an adversarial learning framework, which consists of two modules the multitask generator and the task-specific discriminators, where the discriminator provides the semi-supervised adversarial loss for unlabeled tasks. Our approach is motivated by the observation that the output space is structured in dense prediction tasks such as semantic segmentation and depth estimation. Similar to the gon based methods, we minimize the cross-entropy loss for the task-specific discriminator. Most gon based methods design the discriminator to distinguish whether the distribution is from the ground truth or the prediction of unlabeled data. Differently, our method deals with the cross dataset setting with large domain discrepancy. Thus, we introduce a discriminator module that can tell which domain that the prediction comes from, namely, either the ground truth or the prediction of different domains. Based on the discriminator, our goal is to provide training signals for unlabeled data and enforce the prediction to be close to the ground truth distribution. However, it is not trivial to directly apply conventional adversarial alignment as our setting involves predictions from multiple datasets. Here, we investigate several alignment strategies to align the predictions from unlabeled tasks to different distributions, namely, the prediction or ground truth distribution from the labeled domain, or their joint distribution. Accordingly, we formulate different adversarial losses for these three alignment modes. We construct the proposed model to optimize both the labeled and unlabeled tasks simultaneously within each dataset. Correspondingly, the overall objective functions for the generator contains the supervised and unsupervised losses. We then iteratively explores all dataset and updates the model after observing sufficient samples in each dataset. To demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed method, we carry out experiments on several publicly available datasets for scene understanding, including the remote sensing datasets and the street view datasets. In the remote sensing scenario, the Potsdam and Vaihingen datasets provide the segmentation and depth ground truth, respectively. Experimental results indicate that our proposed method performs better than the single task learning, joint task learning, as well as domain adaptation methods. We further carry out experiments on the real world cityscapes and synthetic synscapes datasets, where the former and latter only provide the segmentation and depth ground truth, respectively. Qualitative and quantitative results indicate the superior performance of our proposed method compared with the baselines. Thank you.